Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been far too long, and to be honest, I just didn't know what I wanted to film, so I didn't film anything. But I'm back now, and I am here doing my summer empties. <clears throat> um, this is for July and August. I didn't really have enough for July, so I wanted to wait. Um, so let's just dive on in and see what's in here, and we'll, you know, you know. So the first thing is, I didn't use this up, but I'm decluttering it. It is the Pantene Expert um, Intense Hydration. She, um, I received this as part of an influencer box, and I don't like it. Um, I don't like the formula. I don't like the scent. So I was trying to use this as like a shave lotion, but um, the scent just, I just, I don't like it. So it's just time to get rid of it. Same goes for the conditioner. I actually use the conditioner more because it's a nice thick conditioner, but I just can't get past the smell. Next, I used up the Global Beauty. Global Beauty Care Retinol Face Cloths, Makeup Remover Cloths. Um, these I got at the Dollar Tree, but I have seen them at Marshalls. Uh, these are great. Um, nice. They're thick, great size. Um, I tend to use them when I'm wiping off splotches on my hands or if I'm doing my makeup and I use my fingertips, I like to wipe them off with a cleansing cloth without, and you know, for a buck, I'd rather use this versus a more expensive one. Next, I used up uh, the Fifth Avenue Fashionista makeup remover, cleansing and makeup remover towelettes. These were in like a blueberry, blueberry scent. Um, they were really thin. Um, I didn't like them. The scent was way too strong, way too sweet. Um, even though I got 16 here, I had to use more of them to like get the product off. So I wouldn't recommend these. I wouldn't repurchase them. Next, I used up High Body Reeves, the Rush Less Plate More um, Foot Scrub. This I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, this was just too watery. I had a really hard time finding a great foot scrub. Um, there was just too much water in this. It just felt like a jelly. A, like, it just felt like a watery gelatin mix. It didn't really work. Um, it smelled nice, so, but I wouldn't repurchase it. Next, I used up by Avon, their Clear Skin Pore Penetrating Gel Cleanser. This is not bad. I like how this had triclosine in it for um, antiseptic versus having like salicylic acid in it. This was great if I was having like major breakouts or I was sweating. Um, I liked using this to kind of get the bacteria off my face. So I would repurchase this again. Next is I used up a sample, not really a sample, but a small size of the St. Tropez In Shower Gradual Tan. Um, I liked this. I liked how the tan was. I did see a difference. It did last a decent amount of time. However, it is very irritating to you. What happens is you shower, you put this on, you, you turn off the shower water, you put this on, and you stand in the shower for three minutes. What the heck are you guys doing in the shower for three minutes? You're sitting there while this is like on you. You're like, do, 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 you know? And so that's the only part. It's just kind of, I mean, it's only three minutes, but it's just like, it's boring. Um, so I don't know if I would actually purchase the full size of this because it's kind of pricey. Um, but I received this in the Sephora Sun Kit and I did like it. So I'm kind of on the fence about it. I used up the Fakai Technician Color Care Hair Mask. Um, I like this. Um, I don't know if I purchased full size. I received this. I didn't see this. I purchased this as part of like um, a little travel kit. Um, but it's not a bad hair mask. I like to use this in conjunction with, um, about once a week I like to use, once a week or once every two weeks, I like to use a, um, dandruff shampoo because my, I get eczema on my scalp sometimes, but that makes my hair really knotty, so I like to use a hair mask after that. Next I use a sample of the Replenix Nighttime Biotherapy, um, Ice cream. Eh, I, I, there wasn't. An, I got like three days worth out of this. Um, it didn't impress me enough to want to go out and buy it or even find out more information about it. I used up uh, the Anuka Vital Gel Cleanser, uh, a small travel size from 
Avon. This was just a basic cleanser. Um, if you just want a basic cleanser without much properties, just take off your makeup just to wash your face. I mean, this isn't bad, but I would wash out and repurchase this. Use the Incoco Coconut Nail Nail Art Strips. Um, I received these, I think, as part of my Walmart beauty box. Um, these were horrible. They smell bad. They didn't go on great. They peel. Uh, it just. They just weren't easy to use. Um, you know, I've used other nail polish strips before that are so much better. Um, yeah, these were just not good. I used a, a bottle of the Angel Time. Wait. Angel of Mine Baby Shampoo. I got this at the Dollar Tree. Um, I like to use this to clean my makeup brushes. So I will repurchase this. I'm just cluttering this right on Nearly Naked foundation. Um, I liked the foundation, but it's just starting to smell funny. So, um, time to move on. I used up the Maker Remover Wipes. Makeup Remover Facial Wipes. These are from the Dollar Tree. Um, there was 40 in here. I did not like these much as the Global Beauty Care. They were just much thinner. They're just a strong fragrance that I didn't like. Could not be purchased. Alright, so I did a lot of sheet masks this month. Um, so first, I used the Colonia Freshly Hydro Sheet Mask. This. I received some of these in subscription services, and I honestly can't remember which ones. But this is great. I did like this. Um, the Hydro Gel. Felt great. Um, I would probably repurchase this, so I'm gonna have to like keep like um, a notebook of the sheet masks that I really like. I used the egg cream mask. Um, what's this brand? I don't know the brand. Egg cream? Too cool for school. Um, this I got, I think, in that Sephora hydration kit. Um, I didn't like this. The kind of egg cream thing kind of creeped me out. But my skin felt great after. I used uh, Facial Essence Green Tea and Aloe Sheet Mask. This is great. I think I have another one. Um, I just don't know if I'm going to be able to find this because I got this at Big Lots. Used the Leaders Balancing Recovery Mask. I got this in... Yeah, you can see it's like making a mask. I think I got this in a new beauty test tube. I really like this. This was great. This was a coconut gel mask. Um, it treats blemishes for really skin and redness. I would repurchase this. I used uh, from Fango the Purify with Lavender and Amica. Um, I got this in a glossy box. And this isn't bad. Um, I wouldn't, don't know if it would if it minimized my pores. I might have to give this another shot. So I would probably read purchase this up the Sephora hand mask and avocado. This was great. Um, I have a couple more of these. Um, but pick up a hand mask. I mean, it's summer, but it was wonderful. I would repurchase that. I used up the Suddenly Smooth Intensive Foot Treatment Mask. This was great. This was like three bucks. Um... And there's the little booties so you put them on that you're not gonna get. They don't make this does not make a mess. They recommend it. Got it. Sally Booties. We'll go and purchase more. I think I get try to get like three at a time. And actually, what I'd like to do is I like to do a hand mask and a sheet mask at the same time. I used up the sweet tea and lemon peel away clay mask. Um, and I actually got like four uses out of this. I save like the little containers that my those um hair masks come in. I clean it out and I can put these in there. This wasn't bad, but it didn't, I don't know if it was that great where I'd go and repurchase it. I used up a forehead and a smile line gel from Skin Iceland. Um, these are great. These are the cooling firming face gels. These I used after traveling. Uh, there's only one in here, but I know I've used at least three over the summer. Um, Probably maybe even four. I travel. I didn't bring any of my empties that I traveled with, but these are the Skin Iceland Hydro Cooling Eye Gels. These are great. Um, and what I like is in this little pack, you get two eye gels, one for each eye, so you can just throw them in your carry-on, in your handbag for when you're traveling, so you don't have to bring a whole container of them. So these are definitely a 
I repurchase. I used up um, something spelled in here is a mess. I used up two of the sheets of the Peter Thomas Ross Acne Clear Invisible Box. These are great as soon as I'm putting the blemish. I put one, I put it on, um, and it you know helps it go down without it coming to a head. So I used up a sample of the NARS Orgasm Wash. Um, I have another sample I think or two. Now I know why people love this stuff. It was great. So I think I might have to purchase it. Um, I'm decluttering the real colors. Stay clean makeup remover. This smell was like bite fluid. Like, I don't know what that scent is. It should not be anywhere near your face. No. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's the cat in the background. I am uh, finished up the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. This wasn't bad, except I did not like the spray. The actual atomizer, I was not a fan of. But the actual primer, um, I did like. Or not primer, it was setting spray. Ordering two primers. I'm decluttering the Tarina Tarantino Purple Glow Primer. I really like this. But it's just starting to smell funny, so it's just time to get rid of it. And the same goes with my Mineral Fusion Color Correcting Primer. This was really great. I really like this. Um, but it's all natural with minerals. And so, like, you know, these just don't last as long. And it's unfortunate because this is, like, a big bottle. But I barely got to use it before it kind of went sour on me. Uh, I'm decluttering this cherry and cherry palette. I pretty it just cracked and used up pretty much a lot of the brush and the. Um, this was a great palette, but it just kind of just happened, and I'm not gonna deal with that. <laughs> um, I used the up the get matte mattifying. Face powder from Femme Couture. This is a great, just basic face powder. Um, I would repurchase this. I'm decluttering my Marvelous Moxie and Party Starter. It's just old. This is probably four or five years old, and it's just time to get rid of it. I did declutter a lot of other makeup, um, but if it was still good, I passed it along to my cousins. This Milani Eye Tech. Extreme liquid liner, I really like. Um, it just dried out. Um, I would repurchase it, and I'm really sad because I thought I repurchased it, but I purchased a different one, and I don't like it as much. I used up. Uh, actually, no, I decluttered the auto eyeliner from LA Colors. It just got all over the place, so I just I'm not dealing with it. Out, out of my life. Um, I'm decluttering my. Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara. It's just I've had this open for probably six months. Time to switch it up. It's starting to dry out. I am getting rid of the Physicians Formula Cushion Foundation. Um, it's just the wrong shade, and when I cleaned the um, the foam pad, it like started to like disintegrate. I don't know if you guys can see that. So it just doesn't make the application even. The color is a little off. So it just, it's time to move on. And then last but not least, this is very sad. I think I, I don't think I used it up in June. I think I used it up in July. I finished up the Dr. Barber Dermacellular, Dermacellular Collagen Booster Cream. I absolutely love this. I received this in my Beauty Fix box. But this is like $130 and I just cannot justify that. Um, but I really do like this, so I am going to hang on to this, um, glass container, because it's a great glass container, and this reminds me that when I have some extra cash, that this is what I'm buying, because I love it. So, that is it for my empties. I hope you guys didn't mind me having two months in one. Um, uh, video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!